Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Weathering Waves. Now, we are carrying on with the main story, hopefully with uh, as minimal lag as possible, although I cannot guarantee. Jeez, okay. It'll get better. It'll get better soon. <laughs> Just the way it starts out a little bit on the laggy side. Over here. Okay, just gotta wait a little bit for it to catch up, here we go. I've got some cold tea to drink. Mmm, yummy yummy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Abby. Uh, hello? Are you with me? You seem a bit distracted. With so much delicious food right in front of you, aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. <laughs> <gasps> You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? So the lip flaps are delayed Wait, because of my leg. You had a dream about the sentinel? Like the one from your flashback when we saw the sentinel well, I don't remember this. after you lost your memory? Must be non canonical. <laughs> Hang on. So let me get this straight. The sentinel swooshed you off to a mountain shaped like a dragon. And then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit discords. But the sentinel saved the day. Well, thanks for the lowdown. How exactly did it protect everyone again? Oh, in your dream, it made the time different there. Yeah. The time in the mountains seemed to have slowed down from the outside, away from the tacit discords. The sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time, keeping those monsters out. It was a safe haven from all all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords where people lived peacefully also in my dream i Delayed was affected by this slow time and could freely move in and out of the barrier you dreamed about call did he just not have a line there <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly but in my dream a lot of the lip flaps the lady mentioned a place called Mount firmament firmament Mount firmament never heard of it this old man has you've never heard of Mount firmament then I'm sure you're not from around here Huh? Hold on! Did you just see Mount Firmament? Who no. did, that? did that echo just talk? Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an echo talking every day, but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re... Uh, Rhinus. What? Anyway, the echoes there are next level. Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say Mount Firmament. Is where the first people of Jin. Please drop that conversation, buddy. It looks like a giant statue of our sentinel Jue. I've never actually heard of anyone going to that place. They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. Maybe that's where the bitches, the bitchy dragon is hiding. Jue. If you're curious, just head southeast. 
Mount Firmament is on the east side of Whining Ix's Mire. And you can see it from a distance. The South East. The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the Southeast. From that mountain they just mentioned. A unique smell. energy pulsing through the air. I can't quite put my finger on it. It feels kind of weird, though. Doesn't smell natural. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where time passes slowly? Hmm. Do you want to go check it out? I had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. Perhaps that happened on Mount Firmament. I can feel an unknown force guiding me, urging me to go there and find something. Jinsi said she'll go search for the Sentinel and update me on its whereabouts. But so far, I have not heard anything from the City Hall yet. Then shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. I wonder if Jinsi will be there. Or well, we'll just go ask her about it. <laughs> sure. On X7 unlocked. Head to the city hall. Oh, are you getting sleepy again? Let me uh, take a quick nap, alright? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and I'll, I'll be. I'll be up in a jiffy. I swear. Oh, you know, I should probably collect these and stuff <laughs> before I do anything else. This water and convene. Oh, this was there. This was the convene. That's what are you? Oh, interesting. Homecoming quests to the shore's end. Story begins with Jinjo. Yet, read some stories. Slid on the path towards an archipelago, shrouded in fog, black shores. As these solitary shores will mark the end of wandering for you. Interesting. Yeah. Alright. Whoa. Leg again. My ping is spiking horrendously. <laughs> Whoa, it spiked all the way up to 522. Crazy. Up. We're going up. Okay, cool. It's not lagging anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay. Perfect. Just realized I hadn't jumped yet, and it usually lags the first couple times I jump in a. Um, after getting on, so now this might take a little bit to load in, maybe just a little.
Okay. Go page and see if it'll ever visit. Agency just not here. Like maybe like I suspected. Question mark. Greetings, Rover. What can I help you with today? I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is not in the City Hall. She has left for Mount Firmament. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinzhou is still unstable after our battle with the Thrinodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Fraxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. It was around the same time that Madame Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information, the potential consequences could be as catastrophic as the previous Thronodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madam Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament. It's slash recorded location. Protection. Interesting. Yes, we guessed. Tell her about your dream, maybe? Madam Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. Fuck! The looming threat of the Thronodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know. Wayfinder. Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's mire. I'll reach wayfinder. Out to her. Wayfinder. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. Okay. I've Danger just makes the adventure Thank cooler. You for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. Hey. Because then we've got to meet a wayfinder at a terminal. Did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. How do you know what it looks like? Well, of course I'm reliable. Even if I do happen to fall asleep and can't hear you. And don't worry. If there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just like last time. Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably won't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to the ferry. Yes. Hmm. Mount Firmament. Our Wayfinder should have plenty of information to share. This shouldn't take too long to load since I literally just came from this area.
right. Shouldn't take too long to load. Right. Right. Okay, it's taking a taking a while. Come on. Why is it taking this long this time? I think this is even longer than it took to get into it into the place. Come on. Come on, thingy ma jingy, thingy ma jiggy. It's taking quite a while. That's an 80 now. Here we go. Okay. Carrying on. Hint to the Fury. 2,400 meters away. Let me just check my map real quick. Holy. Wait. I've actually got some. Uh, some teleport points over here. Except this one's going to take even longer than the other one, I think. Than just getting out of that place. It's still just stuck on 10%. Oh boy. This will take a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, never mind. Damn. Okay. Just go ahead and let's try to Thunder and lightning. Is that the fairy against this giant weird wall of invisible stuff? Oh, sweet God. At your disposal. Some lag. This is so much fun. You're it. Leave it to me. Just die, buddy. Just die. Die. Please, thank you. I 
Are there so many things guarding that? Oh wow. Dude, that looks sick. What the heck? They've been here before. Who's this? Chang Li, I think. Are you trapped here by the rain? Yeah, Chang Li. to be waiting for someone to. I am Chun Li, your wayfinder. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? How do you know me? Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different, as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Hmm. Time ebbs and flows at its will. So it's not quite as much as a century passing, but it's still quite a long time. Has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers. That could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your wayfinder. Chen Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. Don't understatement. <laughs> She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jinshi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening. Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. You're here because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi.
It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. I need to tell you the truth, because you've been the top priority. No, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. That not even that strong, guys. Everything to Speed him up. And make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans, especially at Mount Firmament. Records at the Grand Library tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent, and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? Hell yeah. <laughs> As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. So that's why they don't return. Not because of the mist or the craziness of the waves. It's because, that, because time flows a lot differently on Mount Firmament than anywhere else. Interesting. On the boat, boys. An underboat um, shot. That was pretty cool. Somehow I think Mount Firmament might not be all sunshine and rainbows. Dude, these are some fantastic shots. Couldn't even see if the if the camera was going down or <laughs> straight back. Maybe the mist and stuff around it is what causes time to flow differently here. 
We're at the base of Mount Firmament, but we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pounce. Has broken. Just pull ourselves across with like, <laughs> the floating platform. Uh, Duffer? Judging by its design and intricate details. It must be a creation of the court of society. It looks like it was split down the middle in a rather unclean fashion. This is what they call a chronos order. What's this? What is that? It mimics the sentinel's temporal mandate, able to reverse small scale events and restore objects to their previous. Life. Well, that's convenient. My master once told me about the court of Savante and their fearless quest to unravel the mysteries of Mount Firmament, risking all in their pursuit of understanding its strange flow of time. Their dedication bore fruit in the form of fascinating inventions, such as this Kronos Order. But it doesn't add up. Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? This Chronos Order was built Time flows different. the temporal barrier, so its creator must have already paid the price for leaving. But even if they died, there are countless other CSC members who could replicate it. Course of Ante Committee. advanced technology become lost? Or, do these Chronos Orders stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? Must be. This Chronos Order... It's funny how she has like one air. tiny gap there, no just, just below her <clears throat> chest area. That is just there specifically Let's to show off the, the, the black mark. <laughs> Use the Chronos Order to alter the flow of time in a small area, changing the state of certain items in that space. Move the timeline to the right to fast forward time in its effective range. Move the timeline to the left to rewind time in its effective range. After finishing your adjustments, the objects affected by the Chronos Order will, remain, will maintain the state they were in just after the most recent timeline adjustment. That's cool. <laughs> they keep introducing cool gimmicks. What's this? A wind chimer. Let's, let's see, read about it. Wind chimes are scattered across Mount Feminine and can be collected using basic attack or range attacks. Someone has a keen interest in them. Care the wind chimes to exchange valuable resources with her. Cool. Mine now. Okay, apparently I've already unlocked it. It's Weren't they concerned about losing lifespan? For those fanatics, nothing mattered more than the truth. To live every moment with overwhelming passion. How many can claim such a tenacious drive and unshakable determination? Hmm. 
floor amber could be helpful. At your disposal. Transform. I'm not sure what's around that I could just that I could pick up and put on those things. Rover, it's the Fraxidus. Oh god, what the heck, why? Too high level. This guy's got a massive mallet. Why is the Praxis even here, dude? There are more! Me. Such a loser. The Fraxidus. It's them again. They've set traps. All around the luminous shore. They must have anticipated your arrival. How are the Fraxes even here if they need wayfinders to do, to, do, to do shit? Photon Vault and Photon Barrier. Photon Vaults usually appear and set and, and emit golden energy paths connected to the Photon Barrier. Both range attack and melee attacks can deactivate Photon Vaults, disabling the all Photon Vaults in the set will deactivate the Photon Barrier once the barrier is down. Stationary enemies and sub so come active again. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover, I'll guide you. You will? Use long range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. Once we've reached the cave's end, or just enter physical, the of Mount Firmament. proceed with I, caution. I could have literally just done that and then that, and I would have done, and I would have deactivated. Oh well, whatever. Might as well pick up any items I can along the way. Who knows when things will be useful. Any more Fraxis? Probably. Maybe a boss fight. 
That's physics, man. So it can't hurt me. Wow, that is quite breathtaking. Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world. Visitors were safe as long as they remained within the temporal barrier. But what we're seeing now is different. The flow of time has gone haywire. This is what we call temporal disruptions. What was once slow and steady has become chaotic and turbulent. Some areas are frozen in time, while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. That's gonna make things a bit harder. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. Well, that's uh, a little unsettling. These poor creatures, trapped in the temporal disruption, are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time, leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our Sentinel, leading to the temporal disruptions we are facing now. Shit. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. Gord. As expected. Oh my gourd. Isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. We need to hurry to Hongzhen, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. It's quite a breathtaking island, though. A scare frost deer caught in temporal disruption is now forever frozen in an instant before the disaster destruct. Disast destruct. Yes. Still pick all the stuff though, Silver Lotus. The temporal disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Yes. Cheng Li, does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long the stability will hold. If I go down, please don't worry about me. Nice. Use Chrono Sorter once. 
Unlock the resonance nexus, Hongzhen. A town. Here's the town. <laughs> Everyone's also frozen in time here. What's the matter? You dreamed of Hongjin? You described your dream from last night. It sounds like you did dream of this place. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our Grand Library. Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huang Long. Hongjin suffered greatly during that onslaught. Thankfully, the Sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protective barrier, keeping those monsters at bay. Shiver me timbers. Perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. It could be a glimpse into your own past and a guiding light for the future. Oh, fucks it is. A fat guy. A really fat guy. Hongjin is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With the Fraxidus now targeting us, they'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path. But every trap has its weak points. Someone has used their resonance ability here, but it feels different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Jinshi, and it seems like she used it in a dire situation. Could it be related to the people of Hongjin? The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongjin. Let's keep moving. Don't let your guard down. Right on. Let's go. Let's follow these traces. Oh, there's also some Praxis people frozen in time, too. The traces end here. Are all these Fraxidus people going to become unfrozen? Fraxidus. Someone Fraxidus. fought here against Fraxidus. those Fraxidus. 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 Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. Using her resonance ability too much would only worsen her condition. But she must have had a reason. Was she helping the people of Hongjin find refuge? Chen Li, there are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. At your disposal. Shit. I engraft you new. Slow down time real quick. A little bit. Sky. <laughs> God, there are so many Fraxes. 
Can I just run past? By the, pond. the vase on the stone table seems rather peculiar. There's something okay. in the waterfall. I can't do that right now. These fresh this bitch isn't going to kill me. Well, this guy can stand in the water. How tall he is. Oh, now he's drowning himself. Ouch. God damn it, dude. Leave it to me. Die. Perfect. Thank you. Another photon barrier. Three photon vaults to break. Rover, use ranged attacks. I mean, she's got ranged attacks. You two, hold. Hold on. Lady Shingi. Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. In a single day, we've greeted both the Magistrate of Jinjo and her trusted counselor in Hongzhen. I can only assume something significant happened. It's been a while, Chang Li. I heard you stepped down from your position and moved to the countryside. And now here we are. Meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. For years I live secluded, no longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hongzhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young lady, what shall I call you? Rover. My name is Shin Yu. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please follow me this way. It's not safe to talk here. No. Enter the chamber. Okay, she walks slightly faster than me. Gosh, she's so slow. Walking. Oh, she walks faster. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. Even that though it's only been, it's been three days. That it means it's been at least three days Dante in the real, out there, at the moment. That's so mind-bending to think about. If she's only 15 minutes away, Lady Shin Yi, then it might have been maybe like two and a half days or something. Two and a half days have already passed off this island. Scales. 
Madam Magistrate, are you? Are you? Old lady voice. I'm fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted. Civilians? <laughs> Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much needed shelter for them to rest a little. Sure, so it's like a scale forming under the other eye as well. The sentinel's appointed resonator. I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the sentinel was last seen. It wasn't. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after. But, but if it managed to know, fend off like a horde of Tessa Discords, how's it... How did it get captured by a bunch of humans? It was reactivated as soon as our sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops. And we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun chamber. A Mianlun chamber. Mianlong. To get inside Mianlun chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the key forge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Bring back the cipher key. Please, rest and leave it to me. So if we just wait here, she'd come back with the cipher key anyway. <laughs> the Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xinyi. Help me keep our people safe. Xinyi. Xinyi yes. looks like an older version of her. <laughs> Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and my son. <laughs> that would shape the fate of our city. Hmm. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. <laughs> and then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? That's what I want to know. They're just a bunch of people. The so far, they've been weak at. Once renovated by the court of Savante, do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlun chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jing Shi. We'll distract the Fraxidus main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. 
Fuck yeah. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Men. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the truth seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please leave it to us. I mean, it In might have been like three born. days since we got here, or this place unless Jinshi dawdled on the Our way there. Fate <laughs> Leg coming out of the cutscene. Into the truth seekers pass. Secret exit. Did Shingi and Jinshi know each other? Jinshi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xing Yi. She grew up with immense responsibilities. Whoa, okay. Leap device. Correct. Suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back. A teenage girl when she became the magistrate. She has been burdened with unimaginable. Unimaginable. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. Nothing. I was wondering. How did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless the Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? We need to focus on items related to the Court of Savante in Truth Seekers Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Interesting. Dude, just fine. I'll go ahead and switch my team just a little bit for you since you can't hit that apparently. How do I add to my team? I have a second team. Select. Understood. I am here to serve. Knew it. Select. You can't do without Encore. I'll, I'll save the day. Uh, please let me use that team. Deploying. Nice. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. It can't seem to break three of them at once. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, so this is interesting.
One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. Good. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Perhaps we can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Oh, I see. Okay. Fire me up. Fire beam me up, Scotty. Okay, cool. Big boom. Ah, uh, that's cool. It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon bolt. Rover, now we can hit the three photon bolts simultaneously. Here I was trying to <laughs> do a <laughs> um, move it in a way that made the others not go, go back in, in time. <laughs> How do I get up there? Oh, right, this thing. Boom. Ooh. Oh, please nice. have something good this time. All right, and now I'm switching my team back. Deploy. Material for Why cooking. Why are there tacit discords here? No. These monsters? They don't look like the usual tacit discords. Defeat the TD These holograms. They also look like the works of the Court of Savante. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Astral modulation. Shit. Physical damage detected. Leave it to me. I didn't manage to block it. Listen up. Leave it to me. Transformed. Physical damage detected. Trapped in the corner. Physical damage detected. Durability lowered. Iron graft you knew. Physical damage detected. I can use some further. I should have blocked. Oh, this thing is almost dead. There we go. Go rid of it. Leave it to me. The fruit of evolution. Leave it to me. 
In war with time. Transformed. At your disposal. There's more. Uh oh, this isn't gonna go go well at all. Luminous energy. Leave it to me. Transform. Just as bad as if not worse than all the others. In fact, I think it's worse. This this that moves annoying. Okay, that was that was a tough battle. <laughs> and Encore died. Poor Encore. It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. We killed a child. Do I need multiple? The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Yes. The flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. See how each star represents a flare stone? That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. Yes. We still need the other two flare stones to open it. Wait. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. She is likely teetering on the edge of over teetering. now. No, it's teetering. We are running out of time. Let's go. Did we decipher it? Gotta run up the wall. Yeah. Speed run. Oh, there's a chest. Hold on. Hold on, Jinsi. Yes, I'm um, helping you left away. Title, Spectrum Anomaly Monitoring Report, Subject C001, Entry, Hashtag H-C-6947, Abstract, the data presented in this report were obtained from Spectrum evaluations performed on Subject C001, also known as JUA, from June to December. During a preliminary experiment conducted on June 14th, researchers observed a 15 second frequency loss in subject C001's spectrum. Five additional tests were later conducted through the following day, and all data obtained reflecting the frequency loss were highly consistent. Margin of error averaged below 0 0.02. 
The recorded data of the resonance spectrum on the 3rd, 6th, 11th, 23rd and 30th of the subsequent month indicated a gradual lengthening of the subject CW1's frequency loss. The data exhibited significant increases with varying patterns. It was postulated, it was postulated that this event occurred due to the presence of subject CW2, also known as the Mian Luang Chamber. Subsequent 32-1 factor, um, experiments confirmed a significant correlation between subject C002 and the duration of frequency loss in subject C001. Not notice, notably, subject C002 exhibited an inhibitory effect on the duration growth of subject C001. Based on spectrum monitoring data of, of subject C001 from June to December, the following preliminary con conclusions can be drawn. Subject C001 bears defects or malfunction. Subject C CW2 can temporarily slow down the escalation of, C of subject CW1's defect but cannot make up for subject CW1's frequency loss. App appendix. No, dude, no, I don't want to read through all that. <laughs> the Sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power, but it couldn't return things back to normal? It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time, and if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal... I think it took us longer than 15 minutes to even get here. <laughs> engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> Jinxi is speedy bitch. So the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. No, a Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more flare stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. Right on. <laughs> oh god damn it. At your disposal. He's got level fifty four. Physical damage detected. No, I don't think I need to fight these guys. I'm just running. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Kronos order. I ain't gonna switch teams again. Still another photon vault to break. Hmm, we can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. I see. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ice walls. Oh, actually. I'll go read the tutorials again. there but no that's not what I'm looking for look at that device on the floating slab it could help us open the path to other places shall we give it a try hmm so it turned you into a climbang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. That's funny. Another Chronos order. Let's give it a try. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the Tacitite Fulminate across the water. Oops. <gasps> this hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. Yeah, although I don't know how I feel about that dog. Fire. No, stop. Shut up. Yes, I should be able to. That's mean. Ow. Piss off. Find him out. Goodbye. You. Hopefully, we'll make new findings. Or you, anything. Time for another adventure? I've got one of the things you need. <laughs> no one picks on Uncle's friends. Me. Oh, it's almost dead. Here we go again. This thing actually really isn't that strong. Here comes on the
No, I can do that. No, I just need to switch teams. One last flare stone to go. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. We should. Oh, it's here. Oh, there's not too much here. Research memorandum, this hashtag C532, date of 5. As our 930 experiment ended in yet another failure, we couldn't help but reminisce about our initial excitement when we completed the first Chronos sort of prototype. However, we were always aware that it was a crude replica of C001's power. My calculation showed that the Chronos sorters can. No, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Is that so? So this file confirms that the Chronos Orders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Chronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante hmm. researchers, yeah. there was a hypothesis okay. that could potentially make them more <coughs> powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi. So she may exert even stronger resonance abilities. Ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Chronos orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies. But they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Chronos order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Chronos orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Chronos Orders required manual control. She's explaining what happened in the record, so I don't have to read it all. ...appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Chronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel. And the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Chronos Order thanks to that order. Rover, do you have an idea? No, but we'll see where it goes. Jinchi. Where? Looks there she is.
That was a dog. You. You. <laughs> Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. I... <coughs> Sorry. But Cheng Li, you're... I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. Hello. Rover has a strong connection. It is to I, this. Rover. I need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. That's right. I came from Mars. I used to be a robot, but I'm now human. Already owe Rover a lot. Thank you, Rover. Thank you. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. As Fraxidus. Fraxidus. What did you find in Truth Seekers Pass, Jinchi? Squat. Jack. According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinzhou. Only the Sentinel's appointed resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Ability to control time. Their records indicate a solution. This will be the last conversation of the video, and then I'll be rapid aging ending it up. from temporal disruptions. I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Well, we know that much. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Jinshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. Temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, Nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Yeah. Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever. 
or even disintegrate into dust. <laughs> oh shit. You don't want to end up like those chrono sorters, shredded under immense. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The heck shredded. <laughs> On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I mean she took out a dog. That's pretty bad all she can fight. Massage, and she, you're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. My teacher? Sorry. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. <laughs> We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Chang Li, I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can yeah, help keep us a straight face. <laughs> firmament, it must be Rover. <laughs> Thank you, my teacher. Jing Shi will keep your words in mind. Why did she suddenly speak to speak about his other third person? Lastly. We still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. It's a long cutscene. Hmm. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. All right. That the gentleman shall conclude this um, episode of. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Um, of Wuwa Wuthering Waves. Now, uh, so we've we're going to see Chue in the next one, I'm guessing, or at least, at least fight the Fraxidus, and hopefully find out some more about that. At the very least, we're going to get that Cypher Key, or whatever the hell it is, but we have found Jinshi now, so hopefully, uh, hopefully all goes well in, this, uh, in the upcoming story. But anyways, that is the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.